Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Crystal and yes, welcome back guys. So today guys, we're going to be watching the top five ghosts caught on camera today and I hope you guys like it. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not. Also guys, share the video so that way these videos will go viral and get recommended to other people. So guys, um, I'm wanting to get to 1,000 subscribers but I need your guys' help. To do that is to share the videos and yes, get them recommended to other people so these videos go viral. No further ado, we're gonna get started. All right guys, here we go. The Watcher in the Window. Hearst Castle in Hampshire, England was established in the early 1500s and over its grim 500 year history, it served as a formidable English military fort. It was also sometimes used as a prison to hold convicts sentenced to death. So it goes without saying that the castle has seen some dark and bloody times. Many visitors claim to have seen ghosts and shadows in its haunted hallways, including the spirit of a long dead monk. Paranormal investigator Tony Ferguson has explored the haunted Hearst Castle many times, and on each visit, he seems to capture something more and more terrifying. On this particular visit, Tony brings along fellow investigator Paul Sissel. The two men split up to explore the castle all alone. But for Paul Sissel, it didn't go well. What the Was that guy possessed, guys? He just smacked the camera. Paul says that he felt as if he were out of control, possessed by the spirit of some angry entity from the castle. As Tony and Paul continue exploring, they say that they feel a strange and very powerful energy in one particular room. A small castle alcove with one creepy little window that seems to open to nothing. On his next visit, Tony comes alone, determined to investigate this tiny little room and see if he catches any paranormal activity. He sets up a camera to record and ends up capturing something horrific. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Dude, you can literally see something. That is creepy. Tony reviews his footage later, he is shocked to see a small dark figure with glowing eyes standing at the window in the small Hearst Castle room. Now you might think that this can simply be a person standing outside the window, but it turns out that that would be impossible. You see, behind this window there is only a small gap and then concrete. The area behind this window was completely closed off with bricks and cement long ago. So then the question is, who or what is this? You decide. All right, guys. So what my opinion is on this is because me and my fiance Thomas were thinking about exploring abandoned buildings and recording our reactions and getting some type of thing going on with the abandoned buildings. But me personally, I had questions about it, but if I was to explore abandoned buildings that are haunted, you you gotta know I will be wearing a cross, I'll be having holy water. I don't know, a lot of people don't believe in the in the Holy Spirit, but I do, because I'm Catholic and um, I believe in ghosts, I believe in everything. So if I'm going to explore abandoned buildings, I pray, I have a, like I said, I'll have like a, what is it called? A rosary around my neck. I have holy water. Um, I'll just probably prepare myself just in case if something like this ever happens. Because in this video, as you guys can see, like the guy was possessed and couldn't control himself. And that's what I'm afraid of that's going to happen to me. I'm not saying it will, but I, I'm, not, I'm just afraid about it because I live in New York. And we have 20 haunted um, sightings here that are not that far from where I'm at. So, um, 
it's kind of nerve wracking because me and my husband were actually thinking about exploring built abandoned buildings. Um, but I have my question and doubts about it. I'm kind of scared about it. But um, yeah, guys, but if you guys are interested in that, let me know down in the comments. If you guys are interested in me and my husband doing that, just comment, do it. Yes, put a thumbs up emoji, do something, okay? On the road. TikTok user Sherman O'Neill worked at a local trucking company in Fort Smith, Arkansas. He says that one night one of the truck drivers captured strange footage on a highway outside of Ada, Oklahoma. Many people, including children, have tragically lost their lives on the two busy highways running through the small town. Sherman and his workmates can be seen watching the dash cam footage from the truck. They're shocked by what they see. to avoid hitting what seems to be a small child that appears out of thin air. That's crazy. But it gets even creepier because the driver says that he immediately stopped the large truck on the side of the road after this incident. He looked everywhere for the child. He found nothing. He called local police, but again, there were no reports of lost or missing children anywhere in the area. So, is this a ghost caught on camera? or a completely random, unexplained child on a dark highway in the middle of the night and in the middle of nowhere. Let me know what you think. If you okay, what I think about this, what I think about this, okay, they said that this road, right? They said this road, people lost their lives on it and tragically lost their life on it, right? Okay, so my thought is if there was no other way to go about my route, I would not be taking a road that people tragically lost their lives on, even if it's the only way, the only way to get to where I'm gonna go. And this is this truck driver magically seeing something in the road, a small child. Now, one thing I would not do is Stop in the middle of nowhere at night, midnight, pitch black. I would definitely not be stopping nowhere near the road. I would have kept going. I would have kept going. But kudos to the, to this truck driver for getting out, checking, make sure that there was no children in the road. Me, I couldn't do it. I would have just kept going. I would have just been scared. I would have been shocked. I would have been everything in the book. Like I wouldn't even, yeah, I wouldn't even stop. I would have kept going. Leave your, your thoughts and comments in, on, these, on these clips, please. He relaxes and waits for his friend to return. But then, something a bit strange. Fresh lemonade! Sorry, kid, I don't get paid till Friday. Just use Bridget and get up to $250. <laughs> Something seems to hit the guitar strings, but the guy just laughs it off. Then things get truly chilling. Oh, 
chico más. No, 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 estoy cagando, no. No, güey, en serio. Güey, se apagó, se apagó, se apagó. Ya, en serio, güey. ¿En serio, güey? Chico, madre, qué güey. Ya, 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 esta güey, no, ya, sale. Sale con chico, güey. Did you see it? As the light turns off on its own, a creepy dark figure can be seen walking through the kitchen. The guy filming is absolutely terrified. He tries to warn his friend, but the other guy doesn't really seem to believe him. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I would have been scared as heck. Just imagine you sitting in, sitting in, sitting in your friend's house and you automatically see a shadow figure. You gonna run or you gonna stay there and laugh it off, geeky, haha, -ha, whatever you wanna call it. Me, I would have skied to the left. I wouldn't even, yeah, I wouldn't even, um, I wouldn't even laugh. I'd probably be scared. Be then a loud bang is heard from the darkness, and they both decide to just get out of there. Now, in the original video, the shape is a bit dark and hard to see, but when the video is enhanced, it looks downright terrifying. The figure seems to be clothed all in black and it almost looks like it has glowing eyes. It just doesn't quite look human. But is this a real shadow creature caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Shadow of Doubt. Chuck from the YouTube channel Added Addicts and his friend Justin are exploring an abandoned gold mine in the Sierra Nevada mountains of Northern California. The mine dates all the way back to the early 1900s. Now, first let me point out that Chuck's YouTube channel is dedicated solely to finding and exploring abandoned mines. He has never uploaded a paranormal video of any kind. So, while exploring deep into this old gold mine, Chuck gets separated from his friend Justin. While walking down one of the mine's dark tunnels, he captures this. No squeezing yet. Yes. You wouldn't see me in that tunnel, guys. Did you see it? A strange shadow thing seems to form and then disappear right in front of him. Now, at the time, Chuck didn't even notice this bizarre shadow. He says that his wife pointed it out to him later when they were reviewing the footage. Chuck can't explain it. He says it's the strangest thing he's ever seen in all his years of exploring caves and mines. The party's over. Late one night in 2011, four friends from Sao Paulo, Brazil are hanging out after a party. One of them is showing off his new camera when he spots something truly terrifying. Aí, fiz a festa aí, pessoal. Comprei a câmera nova. Vou colocar o vídeo no YouTube aí, ó. Ai, que vergonha, não foi isso. A Josi capotada já, com sono. Aí, Thiago, a câmera que eu comprei nova aí. Vermelhinha e tal. Vocês nem esperaram uma festa aí, né, mano? Meu Deus do céu! Ai, essa, velho! Mano, tem alguma coisa aqui, Thiago? Tem alguma coisa pra suquir, velho? Uau! É, tô falando sério, cara. Tô falando sério. Vem aqui comigo, cara. Eu vi uma coisa assim, cara. The cameraman freaks out as a sinister pale shape walks through the back of the kitchen, right behind his friend. They check through the back of the house, but no one there. However, the door to the bathroom seems to have mysteriously opened on its own, and the light is turned on inside. Nine years later, the original poster of this video still claims that it is 100% real. But what do you think? Real ghost or real hoax? You decide. All right, guys, we are at the end of this video. So, guys, my closing remarks. This video actually gave me chills up my spine. I'm not going to lie. It gave me chills up my spine. I... Kudos to all the explorers that that do this job on a daily basis because I certainly couldn't do your job. I couldn't do it. I couldn't be a ghost. I couldn't be a ghost 
come to her I couldn't do none of that just because of me being fearful for my life and being fearful of anything that I see dark not human shadow figures everything like that I cannot do it so like I said um if you guys are interested in me and my husband exploring abandoned buildings let me know in the comments um i'm hoping you guys i'm i really don't know what you're gonna say guys i don't know what you're gonna say but if you guys are interested in that um we won't probably we probably won't do it too soon just because you know my husband is busy and he goes to school and things like that so um we have to work on his schedule so whenever we have time to do it um but i want to know your thoughts and opinions on how you feel about that just because if you guys like stuff like that just let me know if you guys are willing to see me and my husband explore abandoned buildings abandoned attractions anything like that um i know lie. i'm kind of scared guys i'm really kind of scared of what you're gonna say um but we probably won't be doing it like i said anytime soon i just want to i want to see in the near future if you guys are interested in that not anytime soon just because um you know we are going to be moving in about six months and um we're trying to get everything situated we're trying to you know pack and things like that and um trying to get everything ready um so the new part we're moving to hopefully has abandoned well, I think every part of the U.S. has abandoned buildings or anything like that. But if it does, um, we'll let you know and we'll see if we come up. And I might have my sisters go with me. Who knows? Um, when we do move and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. I just want to see what your thoughts and opinions are about that. But also, guys, share the videos. Also, get these videos recommended to people, other people so they can come here, subscribe, and, you know, recommend them on your social medias, do everything that you can do, share the videos, anything that you can do to get us to 1,000 subscribers, guys. And yeah, guys, um, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. And also, guys, I'm so sorry I have not been posting on a daily basis, but I'm doing it for a reason, just because YouTube has struck me twice, and I do not want to get struck again. The third strike is they're gonna take my YouTube channel from me, and I don't want that, so that's why I've been posting um, in big chunks um, at a day and like days I've been doing it days not in weeks just because of that of that of that going on so yeah guys I love you guys so much and thank you for watching and I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys